How are you today, Mr. Mosley? Oh. Uh, very well, thank you. You were talking the other night about your friend's daughter. Is she still looking for a place? She is. You read about the servant shortage in the newspapers, but you can't find a situation for a lady's maid, not one. She'll end up as a housemaid if she's not careful. Oh, we can't have that, Mr. Mosley. But if I were to tell you something, you must promise not to breathe a word of it downstairs. Miss O'Brien doesn't want it known. How will they advertise it? I don't know exactly. Desirable nobleman's mansion with surrounding estate and properties. Where will you go? We have some land further north at Area Home on the border with Durham. It came with my great-grandmother. The house is pretty and we might make something of it. We could always rename it Downton Place. Who lives there now? A tenant, but we can come to an arrangement that keeps him happy. Let's take a picnic there tomorrow. Take a break from the wedding on Edith's last day of freedom. Mosley's in the hall. He wonders if he might have a word. I'll come through in a minute. Not with you, with Mama. Mosley? Your ladyship, uh, may I have a word? Of course. Uh, my lady, might I be allowed to put forward a candidate as Miss O'Brien's replacement? What? When the time comes. Is O'Brien leaving? I hope I've not spoken out of turn, only I didn't want to let it go and miss the chance. I thought you knew. Of course I know, thank you, Morsley. I'll be happy to listen to recommendations when, as you say, the time comes. Thank you, my lady. Well, I must confess, I will watch her departure with mixed emotions. Mine are fairly unmixed. Did you have a clue? Not a clue. How oh, very disappointing. But in a way, it raises the big question, when do we tell the staff that the end is nigh? It makes it sound so final. I'm afraid it is final. Well, don't spoil Edith's stay. Let us get through the wedding first and then tell them afterwards. I'm sorry, I thought her ladyship would know. But know what? You know, that you're leaving. I beg your pardon. How dare you make such an assumption? Isn't it time for the dressing gong, Mr. Carson? Oh, it certainly is. Thank you. But, excuse me, Mr. Mosley. I've got work to do, even if you haven't. I'll deal with you later. You're in the soup. Home being her bad books for a gold clock. 